You guys are not gonna believe what's going on right now. You're not gonna believe what's going on. 95.5. That is the heaviest weigh-in ever. Ever. Number one, heaviest weigh-in ever. Jeez. Never been this heavy. And that means everything's, oh, I'm literally, like, I'm literally a kilo up from yesterday. Of course, there's a high chance a lot of it is water. It could be poo, it could be anything, right? It doesn't matter. It, it, that, that weight on the scale, is no, matter, no matter what's been in my body in the morning, has never happened before. 95.5. That means we're like, I reckon a couple of weeks away from seeing 100 kilos, a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, from seeing 100 kilos in the evening because you weigh heavier in the evening, then in the morning I weigh like a, like a kilo or so lighter because you pee, um, like stuff leaves your body. Ah, I'm gassed. Also, look at this. I've got a box. Full of stuff. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? Special supplements? Not the kind you're thinking of, but I've got 10 tubs here of the new blue raspberry flavor. You haven't seen it on YouTube yet. I haven't seen the tub in real life. I've seen the design that we made, but I haven't seen the tub in real life because I had the sample of the flavor, which was in a little packet they gave me. But I'm really excited to see the new, the, like the, it's like a little bit of a refresh design. Like it's, the colors are a little bit different. And I'm really excited just to show you the tub because it's new. Yes! All right. But first, we're going to make breakfast and we can uh, talk about all the interesting stuff. Like, okay. All right, number one exciting thing on the agenda is I received a hoodie sample and I want to see what it looks like. I'm going to put this on and we can have a little review as to what it's saying. All right, taken out upon first impressions, material wise, it's lovely. It's like soft, thick, slidey, not slidey, smooth. How about that? Touch this material, Lucy. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's nice, right? That's that premium. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the outside is really lovely. Okay, I'm going to put this on, see if it fits right. If it fits right, it fits right, and then it's goated. All right, this is an XL. Sorry, am I this large? No, am I? I'm literally 5'10", right? So like the, even the length is a little bit off. I'm in my boxes, don't mind me. I'm literally not gonna go out of the way to get changed. Get changed, put anything on. In terms of like the cut, like the way the seams are, it's really good. In terms of like the, the sleeves here and here and the way it like sits in general, really nice. The only issue is obviously this is an XL, but it's fucking tiny for some reason. Gonna, I'm, I have loads of samples coming to my house all of the time because I need to like, I'm checking out every single manufacturer I can just so I can see like the best one and then I choose the best one and then we're gonna go forward with those, make a few changes if need be, whatever, um, and then we're gonna have the clothes. But this is good. It's obviously just, obviously just not the right size, which is crazy because this is literally an XL. Who made this? Is this an XL for rats? I've got a box and it's a box. I know what's inside, you don't know what's inside and it's a very special thing. It is gonna be us seeing the blueberry flavor Blue raspberry flavor for the first time. It better be ever. super blue. We made the design a little bit different. Not like super different, but it's improved ever so slightly. And I haven't seen it in person yet. I wanna see. You ready? It's upside down! Oh no. Ready? Can I ready? pull out? Oh, looks so good, by the way. Three, two, <laughs> one. Sheesh. Let's go. I think. I just realized I'm also dressed as a blue raspberry. No. Look, look, at, look at the back. Look at like the ombre of the blue here. Look at that. Like, that is look at that. We've got a little gradient going there, and it changes color a little bit, and then boom. Wow, the blue looks so good. Looks so much better than the yellow or red that we have. Mwah. The blue looks so blue. It looks so blue, yeah. All of the overdrive flavors, along with this one, are gonna be in stock by the end of the month. So if you wanna keep updated, shoot me a follow. All right, boys, I'm fucking gassed. This looks sick. Really happy with how it turned out. It looks really good. Just you wait until you see the pump formula design. It's even better. Oh yeah. my goodness, the pump formula design, guys. <laughs> it's so, it looks so good, it looks so good. This guy sounds like he's paid to be this gassed. <laughs> but yeah, this is really exciting flavor. I know a lot of people like blue raspberry. I think it's the best tasting flavor yet. Literally probably the bluest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. When you see this in real life, you're gonna be like, how the hell have they made this? It literally looks like, it looks like fake. Obviously it is, oh, like it's artificial and whatnot, but it's like, it's sick. So nice, let's go. I'm gassed. I'm gassed! But I also need to poop, right, real quick. Because I just realized that I just had half of my poo back up and I need to poop, I need to leave, I need to drive 20 minutes. So, um, in a bit, yeah. Upon further reflection, it's not as sour as it was before. Which makes me wonder, what did they give me before? It tastes, the, the, the flavor, like the flavor flavor is the same, but it's not as extremely sour as it was before. But, still fucking, it tastes real good. It just tastes real good. It just tastes real good. That is not what I want to see. That is not what I want to see. Especially because I literally live here. I literally live here. Sorry. Why am I getting a fine for parking in my own flat designated space? Sorry. It's a bit weird. Anyways. Probably gonna have to pay that because, by the way, I've had a fine here before for whatever reason, 
And then um, I've appealed it and they were like, well, no. I was like, I literally live here. I've got like everything. They're like, no, just these private companies. Anyways, whatever. It's like 50 pounds, really annoying. Lucy's fucking taking ages, by the way. But she'll be here soon. I'll see you in a sec. I'm absolutely tweaked out of my mind. That's all. That's all I have to say. I'm uh, gonna see you in a second in the gym. <laughs> I'll see you, boy. Ah! ah! I haven't even said I got a pull day. It's gonna be epic. Bicep focus pull day. Bicep is getting so much bigger recently. I say recently. Over the last it was like year since I started doing them, like first, and actually focusing on them. I actually have made mega improvements. My arms actually look like arms. They're still really behind like my delts, my chest, my back, my arm, my legs and everything. But in terms of like growth, they're growing, which is good. Which is, that means everything I'm doing is good. Bosh. That's all I have to say. I'll see you boys at the gym because I want to listen to some music. Yo, welcome to the pool session. Listen, I learned something new yesterday. I'm always trying to learn, right? And I, I want to try things out and I, and I, and I want to implement it because what if it's what if it's great, right? What if I'm stubborn and something I'm doing isn't good and whatever somebody else is doing is like it's got like nuggets of wisdom, right? So I, th I and I know that cables are great. I've always thought cables are great for other things, but I've never used them for biceps. So I was like, instead of doing the easy bar curls that I would do as as the first exercise, let me just do it on a cable. And it was amazing, right? Standing a little bit further back, leaning back a little bit, shoulders back, and just letting it like stretch on the way down like this, right? You can see the way I'm doing that. Letting it just like, because it's constant tension, the, 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 the pump I was getting on my bicep was unlike anything I've had with, uh, with, with a barbell or dumbbells or anything like that. There's something about the cable that's just amazing. And the fact that you can have it a little bit in front of you makes it all that much better, which is really nice. I'm really gonna, I love this exercise. And I'm gonna like curl the whole stack eventually. <laughs> not gonna happen, not gonna happen, not with my bicep genetics. Anyways, so I did uh, five sets of those, <clears throat> five sets of 10 to 12, a lot. I did a lot because I was excited and I was like, this is great. So, um, and it was literally just in my biceps. Usually there's a little bit of forearm involved and I'm a little bit fatigued. It was literally in my biceps. So I was like, I'm just gonna smoke them. Then moved on to uh, lap pull downs. If you're any of these lads, sorry that I got you on cam. There was no way to avoid it. I did four sets of lap pull downs of anywhere between 10 and 12 again, then moved on to uh, dumbbell curls. Somebody was using the, my, 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 my dumbbells, so I had to use 12 kilo dumbbells. My dumbbells, I say. You know what I mean? The weight I wanted to use. So I had to use 12 kilo dumbbells, and I just like took them really nice and slow and controlled. I did set to like 20, and it was actually really good. And the fact that these are fat grips really annoys me because my forearms take over everything as it is, and having a fat grip dumbbell, I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, seriously? Like, just really gets to me, but it gets to me as if it gets me upset. It just annoys me a little bit. Um, so I did three sets of those, 20 plus, and then I did a drop set on my last set, um, which I went from the 12 kilo dumbbells to the eight kilo dumbbells, then the six kilo, six kilo dumbbells. I just went ham, right? Basically on the last set, just to finish my biceps off because I'm not gonna be training them for the next like three days, right? You know what I mean? They have time to recover, it's a tiny muscle. So the dumbbell curls, dumbbell curls were pretty good. I wish there weren't the thick ones. That would be nice. I know Lucy, Lucy joined me there for a second. I gave her a little instruction of what I was doing, which is curls. And she was looking at me like I'm like a weirdo. Anyways, kept doing some curls. What else can I tell you? You know what's actually really important on curls or any, any curl in general? Do not get your shoulders involved, right? Like actually use your elbow as a hinge. So whatever you're doing a curl, you don't want to be going up and then like go like this or start it like this or have your elbow move. Just use your elbow as a hinge and just move it up and down like this. Um, and you're going to feel your biceps a lot more. Last exercise was the lat pull down, but this is a machine. I do two vertical pulls because I do deadlifts on the other day and I'm by my back thickness, traps and upper back. It's pretty big. Uh, I can do with more lats. So I do the lat pull down machine and I almost treat it like, a, like, a, like those pull downs, you know, those optimal ones. I let the strap hang like this, and I sort of just pull with my elbow really close to my body. I know it doesn't look like it, but that is about as close as I can get with this machine, because it converges out. Um, and it is like insane in my lats. I just take it nice and slow and controlled. And then I did some flexing, but it's like vertical, because I recorded it for TikTok and Instagram. Um, but yeah, I was looking jacked. Jacked, the bulk is going crazy. <laughs> 
Sheesh, that was such a good, clean session. Really good. I just, from, from beginning to end, set to set, between sets, everything, really good. By the way, my headphones are broken. You know, I've, I've tossed them down a few times after deadlifts. <laughs> What keeps happening is it keeps playing music, right? It plays and then I move and then it sort of detects that I'm moving or something. It clicks a button or whatever it does. It has some sort of function, turns my music off mid set. And it only happens mid set. Like I kid you not, it literally only happens mid set. It like detects that I'm going for a set. I'm a few reps in and then it pranks me every single set. Um, so I need to return these. I'm just gonna return them, say they don't work. They don't need to know that I've dropped them 18 times when I've like deadlifted. Um, I'm gonna drop these off, return them someday. But that was a really, really good session. We need to go buy some food at Tesco's because I'm eating food like an absolute boar mate like a primal beast also known as a obese kid also known as bulking dave anyways literally just gonna go all right we gotta get some uh, food what do you think lou yeah it's how was your it's session quick it was good good yeah oh cheers mate that's all right i'm just halfway through my um my meal here my steak and rice meal got my rice krispies <clears throat> jug of water got everything i need but i was just gonna i'm just just coming here to say whether you're bulking whether you're cutting whatever you're doing if you're struggling to go to the gym, just remember that nobody is going to do it for you, right? You want something, you have goals, or, or you say you have goals. You can just be saying like, oh, I want to do this. And then you get your satisfaction from saying to people, I want this. And they're like, oh, that's a really good goal. And then they think you're working towards it or whatever, or you lie to yourself and think you work towards it. Nobody's going to actually like put the food in your mouth or whether you're on a cut, nobody's going to avoid eating or eating clean nobody's gonna go to the gym for you nobody's gonna do your sets for you nobody's gonna sleep for you nobody's gonna keep you hydrated nobody really cares about what you do right and if you say you have a goal such as say your goal is to bench press 120 kilos 140 kilos 100 kilos 300 kilos doesn't matter you say you want to achieve that are you doing everything in your power to actually achieve that are you training properly are you sleeping properly are you eating properly getting your calories in or not getting your calories in or what are you doing think how can you improve how can you control the variables that are going to allow you to reach your goals and actually do it because if you don't stick to your goals and you just keep saying like i've got this goal i've got this goal i want to do this you're just like a wet wipe basically right you don't you're just throwing shit in the wind and not doing anything you should if you say something like you should you should you should at least do your best if you don't make it fine it doesn't matter if you failed it's completely fine to fail go again right it's just don't say you're going to do something and not do it because that just makes you uh, makes you a waste man. So do what's necessary. If you don't, you know, succeed every time, it's fine. You're trying, right? And don't lie to yourself thinking you're trying when you're not trying because you know if you're not trying. So just do your best, all right? I need to get eating because I'm if I if I take a few minutes out of eating, I'm about to be really full and then this is going to become really difficult. So I'm going to eat this, the Rice Krispies, the food, the drink. I'll see you boys in a sec. Take on board what I said and just think about what you're doing, all right? I love you. That's what I'm telling you. All right, boys, another meal. Uh, it's got a little bit darker. It's been a few hours. Took a little break from eating. So I've got 500 grams of chips. I weigh them frozen. So I don't want to like, you don't just, you, you should never weigh stuff cooked basically because it's easier to track everything when it's raw, when it's wet, when it's frozen. You know what I mean? So weigh stuff before you cook it because after you cook it, it can be different. So 500 grams of frozen weight chips. These are just crinkle cut McCain's. Probably not the best like, food to eat, but it's just food, right? Chips, chips, like it's easy to get down. This is 720 calories. I've got 80 grams of ketchup, which is 100 calories. So we're at 820. Chicken in the air fryer, 200 grams, which is another 200 something calories. So that we're sitting at uh, over a thousand, just, oh, just over a thousand. And I'm gonna have two Rice Krispie squares, 1,200. And the reason why I'm talking to the camera in the first place is because I'm putting eating this off. I'm gonna have to get into it. I've got a jug of water again, just to like, when stuff starts getting difficult, just get it down. I'm gonna eat this up. Lucy in the background, just not saying much. Very right, done. Hey guys, <laughs> starving over here. Lucy's on the carts and she's starving. I'm the opposite of starving. I'm full all the time. But I'm gonna eat this. Just do a little. Uh, that's what the chip looks like. Yeah, you've never seen chips before, Bosh. Oh wow, I'm not hungry. <laughs> so it doesn't taste that much. If I was on the cart right now. I would bite into that. I'd be like shaking uncontrollably. But that's what it is, boys. I'm gonna eat this out. I'll see you at the next um, interesting event. It's probably gonna be another meal. Lovely. All right, bros, it's one in the morning. I've only got one meal left, which is gonna be rice, 
sirloin, and two Rice Krispies. I'm probably gonna have some orange juice as well. That's gonna put me at 5,000 calories. That's gonna be the full day today. Training was sick. I'm really excited about the pre-workout. Really excited about the clothing. It's getting, you know, it's put into production. Really excited about everything that's been going on. Oh, gas, boys. If you made it this far, please leave a like. Please subscribe. I'm gonna be posting these videos as often as I can. Love you loads, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it, all right? See ya.